Today we're going to learn to draw a metal straw in Fusion 360. So just reviewing uh, the layout of our Fusion panel, we've got the browser here which allows us to control various aspects, the timeline or history down here, and the view cube up here, and the home button appears if we hover over the view cube. So I'm going to teach you two different methods for drawing the straw today. For the first one, we're going to start by clicking create sketch. Click on the floor panel here, the base panel. So when you click on that, you'll know you're in the right place because we will automatically show us from the top. So now we're looking down. Then we're going to create center diameter circle. Click in the center, drag out, and we need to make one at seven millimeters, so it's quite little. And then we need to repeat that. Click in the center again, pull out, but this time eight millimeters. So we've got two concentric circles there. We're now going to do stop sketch. We're going to do a new sketch and this time we're going to put it on this face here. It's plain I should say, sorry, rather than face. And this time we're going to draw up a line and this line we're going to come up by 150. So I'll just type in 150. And we're going to click enter. I'm going to use the, the pan tool that looks like a pan to move so I can see what's going on. And I'm going to do the press escape to come out of that line tool again. Find the end of my original line and just draw another one up uh, to 50. The actual degrees doesn't matter, that, that doesn't look too bad, but using tab I can come across. So let's try 70. Yeah, I would do 50 and 70, that looks pretty good to me. I'm now going to use this tool, the fillet tool, and by clicking on both this line and this line, it's automatically going to curve the edge so I can have a curved edge going on there. And I just want one at 20, a curved edge, so it's not too sharp. It's just a little bit of a curve there. Okay, and then I can now click finish sketch. So now I've got some circles and I've got the sort of outline of the straw, if you like. I'm going to show you the two different methods now. So for the first one, we're going to click Create and Pipe. And for the pipe one, all we actually need is this path we've drawn. We don't need the circles. We'll see that in a second. So I'm going to make a pipe. It's circular, though I could choose a different like a square one or a triangular section. I want circle and I also want it to be hollow. I'm going to select the path. So select path and this is the path. And you can see how here I've now got a circular straw and I can tell it how wide I want it to be. So I only want it to be, oh actually sorry, that's incorrect, 10 millimeters there. And it's saying sectional thickness. So how, how wide are these? Walls of it. So if I bring that down, that much smaller. If I do one millimeter, you can see it's opening up at the top. How wide the hole is by making the walls a bit thinner. So if I show that again, put that back to two point five, you can see that the, the hole is getting smaller there. Maybe I can zoom in to show you that. Yep. So if I show that again. There it is at one, there it is at 2.5. So you can see the, the thickness of the walls making quite a difference there. That's why I want that to be one. So that's that's the first way of making a straw there. So that's made a body. I'm gonna come up here. Let's rename that. Sorry, rename by double clicking down. So let's call that pipe. Okay, so that's the body made with the pipe. And now I'll show you the other version. So I'm just going to switch that body off. I want to go into my sketches because one of them's got switched off. So I switch the eye on and then that comes back. And this time I'm going to do a different method and do create a sweep. Create so sweep, create sweep. And this, I've now got two things. So I want the path, I want that to be this one again. But the profile this time. I want it to be this one. Did I get my profile? 
yes. And here you can see it's again done the same thing. And it's maybe that, that hollow, hollow straw there as well. So if I switch off my sketch, actually that's gone ever so slightly wrong. So I just need to change that. So come and click edit feature. And what's happened there when I cho chose my profile, something went a bit wrong there. So I need to, having selected my path, which is selected still, I need to zoom in a bit down to the bottom. Because it had actually just selected the outside. We need to zoom in a bit more. Yep, and when I, when I select the profile, I need to make sure I put the yeah the space in between the two lines. Last time I had selected just one of the lines, so that didn't work so well. Let's go up and look at that. So what I should actually just do fit. Yeah, and now you can see that that's that's hollow there. Let's turn off those origins. And now A for appearance, and this time we want to choose metal. Maybe aluminium, polished aluminium, why not? And that's given me that, that lovely polished aluminium one. I could try different ones. I could try beaded, or I could even try an anodized so it's got some colour on that there. And that is how you create a straw two different ways in Fusion 360.